And first up here on the now blatant hate speech, thankfully no one can now see this anymore along a busy Bay Area road. Yeah, imagine passing along the road and then you read something like that. You can imagine some accidents almost caused today. The now's Ashley Yor joins us from that wall in Brandon where the messages of hate have now been covered up. Here thousands of people drive by every day and would see whatever was spray painted in this spot. Now the message of hate may be painted over, but the feelings of shock it triggered still remain. A crew painting over graffiti that says kill white people, BLM and Black Lives Matter. It's uncalled for. There's a way to protest. There's a way not to. This is just... It hurts everybody. When she saw the spray painted words along Gornto Lake Road, Kat D'Alessandro bought her own paint cans to help a deputy cover up the hate. I was kind of sad, really, because why does it have to be like, like, why does it have to get to this? The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says they don't know who did this, and it's not the only damage. Less than a 10 minute drive away, a trailer got hit with similar messages. The Trump sign in their front yard painted over. Yeah, I'm pissed off. Very pissed. Because it just ruined our paint job and it makes our neighborhood look like trash now. Stacy Hatfield says it's wrong to graffiti a house because the owner's sharing who they want to vote for. Vandalism. They got nerve to come and do that. We didn't know we was discriminating anybody. Obviously, we offended somebody. Hatfield doesn't know who that could be. And without security cameras along this busy road, it may be tough to figure out who's responsible here as well. D'Alessandro says she just hopes it doesn't happen again. It makes me sad that it's gotten to this much hate when we really should just love and care about each other. In Brandon, I'm Ashley Yor, the Now Tampa Bay.